Paramahamsa Nityananda, a compelling spiritual force of our millennium, founder of an international socio-spiritual movement, pioneer of a modern Vedic renaissance. Born in the sacred town of Tiruvannamalai, a yogi by birth, fearless spiritual explorer, beacon of divine power, Paramahamsa Nityananda is today an inspiration for millions on the path. Adept in ancient mystical yogic sciences, researcher of the science of spirituality, guru for enlightenment. Every year, Paramahamsa Nityananda shares with over one crore people worldwide the treasures of his wisdom, the joy of his laughter, and the incomparable power of his initiation. Now, Paramahamsa Nityananda speaks on living enlightenment, solutions for blissful living. Join us for an unforgettable spiritual experience. When your actions are based on the reward you get, please understand. I will give you the example. Every month, you get $10,000 paid. So, all your, action, all your actions you perform for the 30 days, the final reward is $10,000. You are working for it. Your mind is such, within few days, you will feel that reward is too low for your performance. Even suddenly if it raises to $100,000 per month, within next few days you will feel it is too low for your actions, too less reward. Mind by its nature constantly makes you feel all the reward you get is too less. Even if you get this whole world, you will feel it is too less for your very existence. You don't need to do anything. Just because you are here, you are breathing, you feel the whole world is supposed to be at your feet. That is the way mind works. It is so unfortunate. The next step is the most unfortunate thing. When you feel, see, feeling, any reward you get is less than your performance. You are getting less than what you are offering to society. That is the first problem, disturbance. The second thing, immediately what happens? You start reducing your performance. If you are a software engineer, when you are in office, you are supposed to work, you are browsing some porno website. Or you are just spending time on some other work. Why? Because you feel, ah, this fellow is paying only $10,000 to me. It's too less for what I am giving to this company, to this person. Let me reduce what I am giving. Your expression, your creativity, your expansion is reducing. You are not understanding. 
you are angry with your boss for paying you less but you are punishing yourself by reducing your creativity by putting you in more and more laziness by reducing your expansion your life see when you are performing less you are getting into a pattern set up ah oh. after you perform less continuously for 3 4 months you will start believing that is your capacity that is your capacity so unfortunate you are angry with your boss you want to punish him but you drink the poison by you drinking the poison you are not going to punish him don't be foolish it is so unfortunate when people start disturbing destroying their own creativity productivity just because they are angry with the person who is paying them back i am giving you one example look into your life everything 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 moves just with this concept of return it is so unfortunate because you feel that the person who is paying you back needs to be punished you reduce your creativity which is end of the day punishment for yourself i am giving one example of the boss i can give you the other example in a expanded way slowly you become angry with the whole life you feel your wife is not giving you the love back which you are giving to your children the love you are offering they are not giving back whatever you are offering to your friend you feel he is not responding back whatever you are giving to society you feel society is not giving you back so many people told me what is this swami ji you served the society so much finally see what society has given you back only abusal and punishments i told them that is not going to be the reason i am going to stop what i am offering i am only going to increase what i am offering i am not going to punish myself i am very clear understand when you are angry with the friends angry with family angry with your society you stop radiating love it is so unfortunate when you stop radiating love you are punishing yourself you are get into a mental setup a trend personality i tell you two months if all your actions are based on calculation third month you will believe that much only is your capacity just try for two months without planning or calculating how much you get it back go on giving love courtesy help service decide please understand 100% of you are in a frozen prison of this calculation of giving and taking functioning based on this calculation of what i receive i'll call that mental setup as a prison this functioning 
is called prison. I tell you, break this prison, you will feel real freedom. I have seen this prison in my life. I am not talking about outer world prison, the inner world prison. I have seen this in my life in young age. I still remember once Kuppamal, she had a book. The Kudartha Deepika is one of the beautiful commentary on Bhagavad Gita. The translation of that book in Tamil, published in 1917. Just yesterday, I came up with the book, but it's not the same copy, same print, same edition. The moment I picked up that book, I remembered, oh God! Because when she used to read and teach me, I never saw the year of publication. I know how the book looks and how it feels. I know it's a old book. It's a Tamil translation of Kutartha Deepika. She will read and explain. The one and only verse she explained and made me practice continuously and followed it up is this verse. I also want to follow up whether you are practicing this verse. Take this very seriously. Decide for next 48 days, one mantala, mantala means 48 days, 48 days, you go on giving whatever you can without bothering about whether the other person is reciprocating or not, without expecting reciprocation from the opposite side. Your time, your energy, your understanding, your love, your help, Whatever you can give, whatever way you can radiate your creativity, understand? I am not saying only in voluntary service, I am saying even in your regular job, whether your job in which you are getting money as paid, money as a salary, or some smile, support, that as a reward, whatever it may be, whole day, whether you are doing your paid job, job for which you are paid, or you are doing some voluntary service, or you are giving your love to the family, in every moment, decide, for two months, I will go to my extreme, for 48 days, I will go to my extreme, without bothering about how the other person is responding or reciprocating. I challenge. I am really challenging you. In these 48 days, it is till 3rd December of 2011. In these 48 days, you will be at least three times more energetic, alive, intelligent than you are now. I can give you how to become three times better than you. Because you are caught with this one mental setup. See, this is what the first thing you learn in your life. How much you are given back, only give that much. It's a huge unconscious net where all the fishes, which are souls, are caught. Maya is a fisherman. This giving, only how much you feel you are receiving, is the net. All of you, you the souls are the fish. He is catching. If you get caught in the net, you are bound. One day he will just take you out of the water 
and eat, that's all. Break from this one net. The moment your mind is unconsciously planning, eh, he reciprocates only this much, why should I? Understand, visualize you are in the net. You are in the net thrown by Maya. Bhagavan says beautifully, let your fight with non-performance, be the standard of measure. You may then ask, how can I work? I need some inspiration to work. You are fighting with non-performance. You are fighting with the shrinking feeling. You are fighting with the laziness. You are fighting with the non-creativity. Be the source of inspiration for you to live. People always tell, no, 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 if the reward is not the source of my reason for performance, why should I perform? If I should not expect result, why should I perform? Understand, perform to break free from the inherent laziness you are carrying, inherent tendency of shrinking, Inherent tendency of non-performance. Yesterday night, I had a sitting with a group of ashramites. They were saying something about happening in the ashram. They were referring to one devotee in the ashram and said, what a high intense worker he is. Whole day is alive and all that they were saying. Then I asked why others are not able to perform. This guy said, that is what we also don't understand Swamiji, why others are not able to do the same thing. I told the main reason is, first thing you need to do in your life is the decision to live and expand. Unfortunately for most of the human beings, life is a force happening on them. Okay, life is dumped on me, this is the situation, okay. Dragging. First thing, decide to live. Will to live. Decide, I am going to live in every dimension of my life. I will create wealth, I will create health for me, I will create mental happiness for me, I will create beautiful loving people around me. Understand, you can transform anybody into a loving being by your love. Love is like a prosperous. The moment you put that on anything, it completely burns that. How prosperous converts anything into its own? If you drop prosperous on anything, it will burn that and convert the whole thing into itself. Same way love. Love is like a fire. Drop on anybody, it will convert the person also into love. I will go on expanding on this one verse. At least for next few days. Because this verse is essence of Raja Yoga, Jnana Yoga, Karma Yoga, Dhyana Yoga and all Yogas. This verse is the essence of all Yogas. If you want to be a Yogi, just remember this one verse. If any of you want to tattoo on your body any one spiritual teaching so that which you can constantly remember, I will prescribe this one verse. This tattooing, the spiritual ideas is becoming fashion in the modern days. I saw so many people tattooing Om, different, different things. 
if you want to tattoo on your body any one spiritual teaching essence of all upanishads vedas all masters and essence of my teaching everything put together if you want to tattoo on your body i will prescribe this one verse karmanye vaadikaraste mahabaleshu kadachanah మా కర్మా పలహే దుర్భూహు మాతే సంకోస్త కర్మని టాటూ దిస్ వన్ వర్స్ టాటూ ఇట్ ఇన్ యువర్ రైట్ హ్యాండ్ సో దట్ యు విల్ సీ అగైన్ అండ్ అగైన్ దిస్ వన్ థింగ్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ బికమ్స్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ లైఫ్ యు ఆర్ లిబరేటెడ్ whether you do pranayama whether you do yoga whether you share your time with some people whether you work in the office whether you work out in the gym or you share your love with your family in every situation you are stopped you are binding yourself you are controlling yourself you are lowering yourself just with the one idea am i getting back am i getting back am i getting back if you are working out two days you see wow if the muscle is not happening oh then i am not getting back let me reduce constantly in every step you lower yourself you bind yourself whether it is your job or it is your sadhana or it is your love whether it is in the line of physical health or mental health or relationship or creating wealth or your fulfillment in every line you stop with this one wrong mental setup stopping because you feel you are not getting enough reward anything you get you are going to feel you are not getting enough break from this one mental setup i tell you you will explode into enlightenment karmanye vaatikaraste mahabaleshu gatachanah ma karma palahe durbuhu mate sankostva karman don't punish yourself because you are angry with the person who is paying you sit with this one sacred secret from this verse but this verse is a huge treasure trove every day i am going to get more and more treasure out of this one verse i am going to speak some more days on this same verse today sit with this one truth let me not punish myself because i have anger on the people who reward me back let me not disturb my expression or creativity welcome to inner awakening the most powerful personal transformation retreat you could ever experience in just 21 days thousands are already experiencing the shortest route to constantly high energy levels visible anti aging healing of chronic diseases fulfilling relationships and higher states of consciousness what is the secret behind this transformation kundalini means the inner potential energy once it is awakened opens the different doors for the conscious experience in you i can say which is a master key for all extraordinary spiritual experience
This extraordinary program is conducted personally by Paramahamsa Nityananda in the vibrant atmosphere of Nityananda Dhyanapitam Ashram. Open yourself to the benefits of Nitya Yoga and practical meditation. Experience physical and mental healing. Discover simple ways to handle life with success. Above all, enjoy individual darshan and blessings from Paramahamsa Nityananda every day. Take 21 days for yourself and carry home the transformation of a lifetime.